then Bill Murray yeah. comes out. Bill. Bill. Yeah. Ghostbusters yeah. Bill. The Ghostbusters Bill. Yeah, Bill's great. Yeah. And so I said, would you like a Goza? He didn't like it. No, well, he wouldn't. No. He's Something afraid like of the Gozerians. I think it's the end of the movie. Yeah, probably. Ending up in all sticky whiteness and stuff. Hey there, and welcome to the Rural Jur Brewery Tour. Well said. Thanks. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. And today we're going to be drinking Gozans. Yes. It is not Goz. Or Gosa. Or Gozi. Yes, none of those. No, it's Goza. Like the Gozerian. Well, like Goz. Uh. Ah, okay. Yeah. Exactly. Or like the place in Europe. Well, that's Gosling. Yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. Which might be named after that guy who was on Saved by the Bell. Oh, Urkel? So, we're going to be starting with nope. Nickel Brook Brewing <laughs> Company's Cucumber and Lime Goza. So it's a sour light beer at 4%. A sour light beer. That's right. I'm going to go grab a bottle opener. Sure, yeah. Jake, just go grab one. Very still beer. Very still. Just yeah. a tiny bit cloudy. Not, nothing, no, no floaties, but just a oh, little Oh, no, cloudy. there's floaties. Take a closer look. There's really? a lot of floaties in there. I'm not getting any. Well, that's okay. You need to get your eyes checked. There's I definitely floaties do. in there. And it's kind of the color of a pale lemonade. Oh, wow. I'm really getting cucumber. So much. You got a lot of cucumber. There's a lot. Yep. Like, and, a li and lime. Well, unsurprisingly, it's a cucumber lime goza. So yeah. well done. Good <laughs> job, bloodhound sniffer nose. Yeah, I know. See, it's working today. My nostrils are working. I'm getting a little boozy scent off of it, almost like a, a fortified wine. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. Tell me what you think, buddy. Wow. I'm a little that? afraid to drink it now. <laughs> Fuck is that sour? <laughs> Holy well, shit. it says on there it's a soured light beer. I like sour. That's it's not a light sour. It's it a light beer. It's not a light sour. <laughs> Fuck that sour. <laughs> All right, wow. I'm going in. I'm going in. Holy. That's quite nice. <laughs> I don't wow. I was not expecting that. I'm not expecting this from what I'm tasting. I don't this know. is a full flavored beer, but I'm not expecting that reaction. Ah. Tell me more. I don't know if I like this. Really? I usually love gozas and sours. I don't know if I like this. This it's the I don't know what it is. Wow, it's just it is like. Well said. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> I just, there's something about it. I, I'm i still in shock. I'm, the I'm cucumber, shock. when I'm drinking a sour, and typically it goes, you get a lot of salt off the flavor of a goza, because mm. the, the aquifers in Gosla are, are very salty. Consequently, that salty finish is definitely there, and the lime pairs really well with it. But the cucumber is the most powerful flavor in that entire drink, and it really comes across. Yeah, I think it's the, the cucumber and the sour and the salt just mixed together. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's just, it is really strong. It's it's flavorful, and I like it, but I it, I don't want a whole lot of it. Okay, then. But I I will drink it, and it's it's a well-crafted beer, but wow. Just not for you. It's... it's no, but I'm okay, so I'm going to give a far more metered response to this because you're having a very dramatic reaction, and I'm just going to try and rein it in a little bit, buddy. And you just take a break for a minute. I'm just <sighs> yes, exactly. So yeah, we got a salty finish on this. Definitely, the cucumber is up front. The lime is there in the overall flavors, and underneath all of it lies that sour presence and it's strong sour presence. Well, it's it's four percent, so you can bring it back down a little. No, not alcohol. Strong sour. Sure. Mm. But it's very pleasant. This would be extremely refreshing on a hot day or uh, poured over ice if you're the kind of person who besmirches your beer that way. Yeah, watered down. Yep. Well, if you choose to do that. I'm just saying, if, if you'd like, you could take a bit of a break. Maybe go get something to yeah. maybe a glass of milk. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> All right, you had a chance to recover? Jesus. You gonna be okay? I hope so. I hope this one doesn't do that to me. Well, we're gonna see, right? Oh no shit. No, so, this one is called You Are Lazy, Susan, from Refined Fool. It's true. Yeah. It's a rosemary goza. So rosemary, the, the herb. No, she herb. was wonderful. She really was. I so love was rosemary. Susan. 
Yeah. Well, Susan's lazy. Yeah. So this is 4%. What the hell are you doing? What? Oh. oh I'm just going to set it Just down. set it on the counter. Just Thank set you. set it right there. There we go. It's about yeah. time. I know. There's no table there. They know that. Well, there is. There's a table right there. Yeah, sure there is. There's no people at it. There's no table at it. <laughs> There's no table at it. So a very thin head here. A little cloudy, but not Maybe bad. Maybe that was her problem. No? Okay. <laughs> a little cloudy, but not bad. Next to no motion and no floaters. Ooh, a little spicy nose. Yeah, a little bit. You get a little bit of the rosemary. Are you getting the rosemary? Yes. Okay. I mean, it's more of an herby nose, but that doesn't come yeah. off the tongue quite as easily. Herby nose? An herby nose isn't as good as a spicy nose, it's so I said a spicy nose. Yeah. Okay, I thought you meant spicy as in like, like a, a you know, a spicy as in spicy, like, a, you know. You are so well spoken. Have an Thank you so I'm much. still in shock. <clears throat> My body is still literally in shock from that. Awesome. Mm. Wow. I'm yeah, getting yeah. lemon on the on the nose as well. Uh, yeah, I would say that. Oh, see, this just calms down. Oh, see that? That's just yeah. a, that doesn't even taste sour. That's a hint of sweet, even. I would say the finish is sweet. That's why I said it first. And I've got that herbal taste there, the the spices and the herbs and all of that kind of twisting in a little bit of a peppery flavor. And yeah, rosemary will give you that, but but still, I almost get a, a bit of a cinnamony taste in there too. Cinnamony? Cinnamon. Knee. A cinnamon knee. No. Oh. A cinnamon. Yes. Like a cinnamon A cinnamon Yes. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, that'll fix what hurts you. Yeah. Nah, but so will this. Mm -hmm. This is quite tasty. Very yes, approachable. It it's not. But there's no sour. Uh, it, I would still call it a sour. It's very light, though. I wouldn't call this just a regular uh, ale or anything like that. It still is just enough sour to... To me, this tastes very much like a rosemary cream lager. Yeah. It's just got that, that more creamy mouthfeel, and it's got that, that thin mm. body to it. <clears throat> the rosemary kind of spices it up a little, and herbs it up a little. Mm. And I really like this. This is a very easy and approachable yeah. and delicious beer. It don't punch you in the face like last no, one punched no, you no, in the no, face. No, no. But this beer is just much easier to drink than yeah. the other one. Yeah, Consequently, I think it's a little less interesting. Yeah. I, I think this one, but this one is very much more approachable. You're right. The beginning of the flavor is definitely like, actually like an ale. But the, it does, to me, it does end like a very light sour. I don't think you would, if, if you were blind tasting this, I don't think you'd identify sour. It very much tastes like a botanical log. A bot uh, you know, with those added yeah. flavor, floral flavors, <clears throat> I'm getting that in this. And again, it's creamier than a lager, yes, but I'm getting no sour. I would never identify this as a goza. I find the botanical lagers, though, they, because I'm allergic to a lot of flowers, it literally makes me, like, sneeze and, and feel like I need to itch my throat. So I wouldn't say that it has that... You mean scratch your throat? It already itches. It itches and then you scratch I'm, it. I'm going to itch it with You don't it. itch your throat. I'm going to itch it with my hand. You don't itch. You, you can't. Okay, just go on. It's biology. So we have this uh, lovely can from Collective Arts, which is unsurprising. Their cans always have wonderful artwork yeah, on them. Yeah, very nice. This is the Collective Arts Guava Goza. You know, what was, what's been your favorite can from Collective Arts oh, over the years? They changed the art so much, I, I don't think I can pin it I think down. my favorite one is Queen Elizabeth Young with neck tattoos. Oh, I remember that one. You remember that? That was I, a good I, one. I have one downstairs, I have one. I saved it. It's just, it's a uh, That beer is probably well past its point. No, I drank it, it's just an empty can. Okay, so. But, ooh, just a beautiful can. This so pours that, like grapefruit juice, buddy. Look at that. Wow. It's so sad very, drinking out of a short can because we yeah. split it and yeah. there's no more. Very, very cloudy. Mm -hmm. Lots of floaties. But yeah, it pours like grapefruit but, juice. Nice uh, hmm. bubbly head on top. So I don't know guava fruit. I don't know if I've ever had a guava. I've had lots of mangoes and papayas and <clears throat> dragon fruit and, and probably everything but a guava. And cucumbers. I've had a cucumber. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but does this smell like guava? Have yep. you had guava? Yep. This is what guava This smells. is what guava smells like. Why do people eat it then? Well, and, and to me, I've never enjoyed it because it's a bit nice. of a sickly sweet smell. Yeah, it smells like throw up in oh. strawberries. Okay, so this is a good beginning. No, I'm sure the beer is fine, I'm, but this that's what I'm asking. If this is the smell of guava, then I, I, 
Hyper it's a hyper ripe, ripe smell. Ripe smell. Yes. It's much why I don't like mango. I find mango mm. has that hyper ripe smell and it yeah. doesn't work for me. Yeah. However, guava is quite pleasant. I'm sure mm. it's gonna taste fine, but just the smell. Is, mm, yeah. Oh, and the taste is wow. Oh, and the taste is wonderful. Very creamy. The salt wow. in there is nice. Yes. And the fruity flavor. The, it's the, like drinking juice. You're right. Mm. This tastes like you're drinking bubbly juice. With a little, with a little added salt, mm -hmm. and that's nice. And it's very nice. It's really balanced, sweet. Oh, it's got got plenty of flavor to it. The bubbles are fine. They yep. kind of tickle the tongue like a champagne would. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the the acidic nature to it, all the acidic uh, acidity from the fruit, help that bubbly feeling on the tongue. Just kind of bring it out. It kind of burns a little on the tongue, and the bubbles help. And I recognize that most people taste salt up front in their tongue, but I'm getting a lot more flavor in the back of my mouth. That's that's more reminiscent of, of saltier and lime and... Yes, there's lots of lime. I'm getting that in the back. Yeah, there's lots and lots of lime. Yeah, I bet you are. The unsaid punchline is funnier than the one that is actually said. I didn't say anything. You said no. Oh, did I? And it was too much anyways. Oh, well. Mm -hmm. It tastes wonderful. But that guava smell, God, it stinks. Guava's a really sensual fruit. Is it sensual if it mm -hmm. smells like throw up? Only if you perceive it to smell like throw up. Others would perceive this to be a really exotic scent they might associate with tropical vacation. You? Oh, well, maybe. It's like, well, I go to a tropical location, mm -hmm. I drink too much beer, and I, I throw, throw up. up. Yeah. There it is. There it is. So there's your association. Yeah, Montezuma's Revenge. Revenge. Right there. But it tastes wonderful. Yeah, it's delightful. Yeah, I, and it, this isn't about the beer, just. There are a lot of really pleasant things out there that don't have the best scent. Huh? Is there something wrong with your neck? Just stretching it out, buddy. Oh. Mm, you know how it is. No, I don't. I'm, oh. I'm in perfect health. <laughs> <laughs> Especially that sniffer. Yeah, my sniffer's working. When I was thinking about the episode that we were going to film tonight, in my brain I'm sitting there going, I hope it goes well. Oh. <laughs> Maybe my joke should goes away. I think we should goes away. Oh, right. yeah. Thanks for watching the Rural Jura Brewery Tour. Well said. Thank you. I'm Jay. I'm Seth. Check us out next time when we try some more beers. Yeah. Make sure you goes up below and like and subscribe. That joke was pretty forced, but I'll give you a well done. Really? You said it twice. Yours yeah, was... mine were tied in kind of naturally and yours was it forced. It was not natural. It was definitely forced. Um, go to the website and you can see what, what's coming up in future episodes and maybe drink along with us. Absolutely. Thanks for showing up. See Bye -bye. you next time. Oh. Oh, God. Wow. Tell me what you think, buddy. Wow. I'm a little that... afraid to drink it now. <laughs> Fuck is that sour? <laughs> Holy well, shit. it says on there it's a soured light beer. I like sour. That's it's not a light sour. It's it a light beer. It's not a light sour. <laughs> Fuck that sour. <laughs> All right, wow. I'm going in. I'm going in. Holy. That's quite nice. <laughs> I don't. Wow.